Hello everyone. I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate the support. And in this one, I wanted to speak to you about spiritual awakening, the awakening process and how I believe that there are many different plateaus, peaks and valleys that you would go through when you're on this journey of spiritual awakening. I kind of noticed it in myself as well where I have many different periods where I felt extremely alive, extremely in touch with my spirituality, extremely on point with my path. I am in one of those phases right now actually where I feel extremely aligned with the universe, extremely aligned with my path and really on point with my awakening journey. And then I, have, I remember phases in my life where I was completely on the opposite end, right? Where I had no idea what I was doing, where my, my path seemed completely tumultuous, completely chaotic, as if I was taking one step forward and 10 steps back or more. And it felt like I just nothing kind of fit in. Everything felt like it was off a little bit and uncomfortable. And I felt like I, I, I literally was like on the edge of something uh, of a precipice, but not able to move forward, like not able to let myself go, I guess. And so I think that's what happens, you know, like I think with everything in life, we kind of forget that the spiritual awakening journey is also a journey. Um, just like any other journey and it's not going to be this is straight up it's not going to be a straight upward pathway to to the universe or to the divine creator or to god whatever your path is supposed to be whatever you want it to be if you're searching for enlightenment it's not going to be just a straight path towards it without any you know breaks in between or any problems or complications um, but it's going to be one of those journeys where you kind of take a few steps forward and you feel really good and all of a sudden something happens and you take a few steps back and you feel really terrible and you feel out of sync and then all of a sudden something you learn something new a new technique or in, you join a new school or you start a new regimen and all of a sudden you feel oh right this is exactly what i'm supposed to be doing and this is exactly where i'm supposed to be going and you go on that path you know and then uh, you stop doing it for some reason or you reach a pa plateau with that particular technique because you know you keep on doing it for so long that you kind of eventually will reach a plateau where the same thing you were doing doesn't affect you as much. It's like um, it doesn't give you as much benefit as it did before, right? And so you are moving forward very fast sometimes and sometimes you're moving very slowly and sometimes you're not moving at all, right? And sometimes you're just like actually moving backwards. And obviously all of that is part of the journey. That's actually all of what we're supposed to be experiencing but what we assume in our heads because i think humans just do this we kind of have this bias towards moving forward and a bias against moving backwards or standing still and so what happens is that we kind of start berating ourselves and hating ourselves or being mean to ourselves when we are in this period of standstill or period of moving backwards or a plateau period or a valley right we are like oh it's all our fault or we're not doing enough or there's something wrong with us and we start blaming ourselves and then obviously that pushes us even further backward than it, if we just kind of like relaxed and be like all right this is what it is i'm just going to go along with whatever's going on instead of that if we start berating ourselves it actually pushes us even further back right because we're still further pushing ourselves away from the process from the divine creator from enlightenment for whatever we're kind of searching for on this path and everyone has their own goals with the spiritual awakening journey. I don't think, ev I don't think, I don't think everyone has a goal of you know connection with God or enlightenment. Some people are just looking to get better as a human being. Some people are just looking to contribute in a better fashion. Some people are just looking to live the best life that they possibly can on this planet before they move on. Uh, some other people are just looking to have the best experiences, as many beautiful experiences as possible on this planet before they move on, right? So every person has their own kind of goal or idea behind what they're looking for from the spiritual awakening journey. And so obviously all of us are on a very unique path 
unique to each of one, one of us, built exactly for us, right? Depending on what, a, what our life past experiences were, past lives were, what our lessons are supposed to be from this particular life path, what we're supposed to be learning from this, you know, where we're supposed to be going, etc. So there's so much uniqueness to our journey that what we end up doing is doing us ourselves a disservice when we look at someone else's path and say, ah, so they're doing that and they're going so much faster than me. I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm going not at all fast. Uh, so what's wrong with me, right? And then we kind of take that as a sign. Oh, I should stop doing this and I should try something else. Well, not really, maybe, maybe, but not really, not all the time. Maybe it's just that you are a little bit slower than other people, or maybe you are just, um, maybe you're slow at this part of your life, but the next part you can be faster and the other person can be slower, you know? So it's like we kind of make up all these stories in our head to basically put doubt, like sow doubt, seeds of dissension or seeds of doubt or anxiety into our path. And I think a lot of it causes the reactions that it causes and causes our path to be slower than it's supposed to be. Because in fact, I think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, if we didn't have these doubts on our path, and if we kind of just kind of went along with it without a lot of, without a lot of resistance, with a lot of surrender and with a lot of just letting go to whatever's happening and kind of just understanding that, that that's exactly what's supposed to happen for us, I believe that if I could do that, and I know I can't, and I have a hard time with it, I'm trying to, but I have a hard time with it. I know that if I could just do that, that I know my path would just become faster and faster because I wouldn't be spending so much time actually resisting what's happening, but I would just kind of be going along with it, which means that I would be flowing faster. And you've probably seen, you've seen this a million times before, I'm sure, where, you know, if you notice something that's moving along with the river as opposed to posing the river, you can see how much faster something, whatever might be a block of wood or um, a branch or whatever it might be, if it's in the river and you kind of notice it moving, if it's kind of getting stuck somewhere, obviously it moves slower. But if it kind of just goes along with the river, that's what the lazy river concept is all about. If you just go along with it, you can just move as fast as possible, as fast as the river is moving. And so we kind of, instead of kind of being, as I said, resistant to whatever is going on, if we could just kind of be like, all right, yeah, so I'm in the slow mode right now and I'm not going to make a lot of progress. That's okay, but I'm going to keep on going. That's it. I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing whatever I need to do. If something feels good to me in terms of my path and I believe, I believe intuitively that I should be doing it, then I'm going to do it. If I feel no, then I won't and I'll just keep on going. And sometimes I'll move very fast. Sometimes I'll move very slow. Sometimes I'll move not at all. And sometimes I'll feel like I'm actually moving backwards. But all of that is acceptable. In fact, all of that is necessary because all of that is important for my path, for whatever my path is towards, whatever it is, right? And so I, I really feel, and this is something that I've been trying to teach myself, of course, because I'm teaching myself, I'm trying to teach you as well, hopefully. It makes sense. But I'm trying to really build that surrendering, that letting go, that like not resisting and not being like, ah, oh, this is how it's going and I hate it and I don't want it to go this way. Well, you know, it's going that way. So Amar Fadi, like just like love your fate, right? Do whatever, whatever's going on, just love it. Love what's going on. Even if it's something that you're like, I don't want it this way. Well, it's happening this way. So yeah, you can change it a little bit, but a lot of times, a lot of things that are happening to you are kind of, you kind of have to go along with it in a lot of cases, right? I'm not saying just, just, you know, if someone's slapping in the face, just let them keep on slapping you, but like kind of a lot of the things that are happening in the divine providence kind of thing, kind of way, that just kind of has to happen. You have to kind of go along with it and be like, all oh, right, so this is the lesson I'm supposed to be learning. Let's learn it instead of being resistant and being like, no, I don't want to learn it. I don't want to do it. I don't I want to throw a tantrum about it and then wasting time throwing that tantrum because eventually you're, that lesson's still going to be there, that path's still going to be exactly the same, and you're still going to have to go through it. If you stop resisting and just went through it, you know, it would be so much faster, and you kind of go through these stages of peaks and valleys and plateaus faster and faster and faster, instead of spending half the time in resistance, half the time and crying about it, half the time and, being, and moaning about it or complaining about it, and then eventually you'd be like, all right, fine, I guess I'll do it, kind of thing. <laughs> Which is what I, which I do a lot. I'm like, wow, I wasted so much of my time doing that. I could have just gone right into it. I guess it's a human way of doing things. Uh, that's why we're so imperfect. So I hope this kind of makes sense. And I, I wanted to share this because, as I said, I've been thinking about it myself. And 
it's something that it's a little bit abstract obviously but it's an idea that I feel would really lend uh, ourselves credit and our journey credit because I think it will really help us move faster and faster um, even in the slow phases right <laughs> I think it would really help so hopefully this makes sense if you have any questions about this or about any of the videos other videos I've done please comment below and I shall do a follow-up Again, thank you so much for being on my channel. I really appreciate your support and I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.